All right, everybody, how you doing? I'm Sundance Giovanni, and this is Chris Puckett. We're here for another edition of the Stride Championship Series. It's 30 weeks of intense Halo action right here at MLGPro.com. And right now, we're going to go down to the floor and see which two teams are on tap for today's match. We got a battle of the beast here. It is going to be final boss rocking the red. That's Ogre 1, Ogre 2, Neighbor, and Strong Side. And in blue, it's Carbon with Shockwave, Ghost Ayami, Nated, and Captain Anarchy. We talked to the players before the match. Let's hear what they had to say. On Carbon, uh, they're all really solid players. Um, I think Nated is their main slayer, so we have to watch out for him. He's uh, He could definitely take control of the game. They're probably their star player is going to end up being Neighbor. He's going to be the one that starts anything for him. So we're going to try to make sure to shut him down and then work with the rest of the team. Today our teams are going to be facing off in Team Slayer on Amplified. Of course, first team to 50 kills wins the game. There's no power weapons or power-ups on this map, so it's all about the battle rifle and teamwork. The match begins right after the break. Recently, a pack of man-beasts infiltrated our community. It was Stride Gum's twisted way to make our good citizens spit out their long-lasting stride and try the new sweet cinnamon flavor. Well, this town ain't big enough, Stride. Here we go, kicking this one off with Ogre 2 from Final Boss trying to make his way to the middle of the map. Getting hit by two grenades. He's going to be forced to back up, let his shields recharge. Now he's seeing some fire coming from bottom gold. It was naded, and he's going to be taken down by Ghost Yami top middle. So Ogre 2 is taken down for the first kill for Carbon, and now he's respawning at blue base. A perfect grenade is going to take down Shockwave, and with Shockwave down on purple side, he's going to focus on the gold side of the map. There's Captain Anarchy, and there's the fourth kill for final boss, as Ogre 2 is now going to be able to lock down the gold tower. Like what I'm seeing so far with Neighbor and Strong Side really being the disruptors, getting out there, starting kills, and the Ogres seemingly hanging back a little bit, being patient, finishing these kills off, and really being able to communicate by, by using their eyes, seeing where Carbon's spawning, and just getting the team rolling. So now Ogre 2 making his way bottom gold, taking a few grenades from behind. He's going to wait for his shields to recharge. Strong Side doing some damage, bottom gold. Ogre 2, though, going to cross to the opposite side of the map as he's dodging grenades coming from gold 2. Now check this out, Neighbor is disrupting over in the purple corner. He was drawing all the attention from Carbon, and that is going to allow a player like Ogre 2 to move in and pick up the easy kill there on Captain Anarchy. So it's 11-9 as Ogre 2 makes his way to the top of Red Tower, and check this out. He is just raining down fire across the map, hitting both Ghost Yami and Captain Anarchy with at least eight shots there. Yeah, and the only reason he dropped Pucket was because he needed to reload. Smart play right there. I don't understand it. It seems like Final Boss hitting these long-range shots, Carbon unable to connect. Well, Ogre 2 raining down fire on Shockwave's respawn. Finally getting taken down by Nated. We're watching, though, as Strongside is trying to lock down Blue Base all by himself. There's the grenade to take down Captain Anarchy, and out PR's Ghost Yami for the double kill. Final Boss just starting to heat up here, especially Strongside. Check out his long-range battle rifle across the map, dropping Nated's shield. Shockwave taking some shots as well, and now Ogre 2 is going to be able to go finish off that kill, bottom blue, gold side. And great double team there by Ogre 2 and Strongside as Strongside picks up the killing spree. Strongside shot is back, Sundance. Definitely, and you know what, this is the type of map that when Strongside gets hot, he can dominate on. Because it's hard to kill, he was able to put shots on you from a great range, and you know what, the, the fact of it is, is that his team can feed off of that, finish the kills he starts, and just let him do his thing. He can go out there and freestyle the whole game. And check out the spawn trap, they just had Carbon in there, and strong side with no shield, still charges Nated, drops a grenade there, finishes off the kill with the battle rifle, even with no shield, strong side continuing to put the pressure on members of Carbon, dropping two shields once again, and there with no shields, dodges a grenade from Nated, and finishes off the kill on Captain Anarchy. Strong side is on fire. This is like the strong side of old. Honestly, Carbon can't kill him. He's engaging people with no shields or two people at the same time. And honestly, they have no answer for it because right now, he's just playing on another level. They need to get him off of his game. They need to run as a group because right now, he's picking them apart. And he is just playing with pure confidence is what I'm seeing here out of strong side. Getting shot by two players doesn't back down until the final moment there. Putting heavy shots on Shockwave, allowing Ogre 2 to clean up the kill. And now the score shows it 35-20. to 20. Final boss getting up to a 15-kill lead here on Amplified. And Strong Side isn't done. He is moving towards Purple Side with all Final Boss grouped up at Blue Base. But it looks to be a poor decision because Ghost Yami and friends are in position to take him down. 
So Nated picks up the kill on strong side, but it, strong side calls it out to Ogre 2, who gets the revenge bottom middle. And now he's got the double kill on Ghost Yami. So 38 to 23 here. Final boss maintaining that 15 kill lead. And now the Ogres and Neighbor are working together on gold side. Yeah, you know, you can't talk enough about how strong side and Neighbor are both just running the map on Carbon right now. Neighbor being very aggressive, very active, while the Ogres are sitting back, picking their shots, literally, and finishing these kills. The whole team right now is playing uh, tremendously well. Great organization, great communication, and everyone's shot seems to be spot on. Well, it looks like we're just seeing better teamwork and communication out of final boss here. Naden's going to be taken down by Shockwave. Meanwhile, Ogre 2 staying alive with all of Carbon trapped at blue base. Puts a few shots on Nated. Meanwhile, refocuses his attention to Ghost. Yami takes down Ghost as Neighbor cleans up the kill on Nated. So great teamwork there. A great duo there from Ogre 2 and Neighbor. And we have Ogre 2 still putting the pressure on Carbon at blue base. Getting hit by a grenade and Shockwave is going to finally beat him down. But it is now 49-31. to 31. Neighbor looking for that final kill at bottom red. All final boss starting to slow this one down. It looks like they were hit by a grenade, but Neighbor wants this game over. He's charging Shockwave over at Purple 2, and this could be it, Sonny. And yes, there we have it, 50-33, to 33, absolute crushing. Neighbor with 15 kills led the way as final boss goes up over Carbon. Yeah, and this was a dominating performance for Final Boss. They've all got to be feeling good about how they played, how they communicated as a team, and most importantly, how they didn't let Carbon get anything going at all. While Final Boss is getting their kills in bunches, Carbon's searching for an answer. And look at the reason why. Strong side going 11-7, neighbor 15-11. Everyone's positive on Final Boss. And on the other side, the unfortunate story of the match, Captain Anarchy going 2-12. and We'll be back with your Dr. Pepper Moore 2 a moment right after the break. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Trust me, I'm a doctor. That was good in Dr. J right there. And now for your Dr. Pepper more to it moment. This one's going to strong side while taking fire from all directions, dodges the grenade from Naded, and finishes off the kill on Captain Anarchy, bottom blue. Well, that does it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. But we'll be back next week with more exciting Halo 3 action right here at MLGPro.com. <laughs>